guys, you're welcome to another interesting episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. My name is Glory Elijah and today I will be talking my own about this Tone to Decay and Churchill's drama. Now let's be realistic guys, everybody in Nigeria has something to say about this particular issue so I won't be left out. Not because I want, I want to just talk so people will just hear me know but because i have something really important to say to tone to decay and guys as you watch this if you have any way of sharing this video please do so because i really need what i have to say right now to get to tone to decay she needs to listen to this and also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet this is the time for you to click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to be a part of this family basically i want to say that whatever is going on between those two people i mean it's a whole lot for tone to decay to take in i totally understand that or i can't say i totally understand because i've never been married before and i have never been really really hurt the way she has been hurt so i can't really understand what she's going through same way i know that most nigerians won't really understand what she's going through but all the same the basic question is tone to decay do you want your son to grow up someday and then be reminded by people that hey there was a time your mother went crazy on the internet saying crazy things about your father seriously that's a very legit question and i feel like no mother or father wants to leave a very very bad impression about themselves about or about their marriage or relationship or whatever to their kids and i feel like tone to decay should have taken into consideration you know posterity before going haywire um, with media houses and on on YouTube on YouTube and you know on social media as well I feel like no matter what have happened you know no matter how much water has gone under the bridge the DK should have just probably looked for another avenue you know to channel our anger and there's this new thing now going on in society you know everybody is trying to turn their pain into money Tokima Kimwa did it and it worked really well for her. But then one credit I really need to give to Tokima Kimwa is the fact that even if she wrote a book on becoming, you know, to talk about all that she passed through with her ex, Maje, she really did not spill 100% everything. And that's the key about such kind of publicity stunts. Okay, let me not call it publicity stunts to be fair, but that's just the thing. If you're trying to let people hear your own side of the story sometimes you need to be a cheat sometimes you need to you need to give yourself a lot of credit you know by not spilling all the tea a hundred percent because the truth is at the end of the day everybody is just standing and waiting like sharks waiting to devour you know you that's the victim and what do they stand to get? They stand to also make money out of your pain. They also stand to make money out of your story. So I love what Toki Makinwa did. She did not grant interviews. Ever since she started having marital issues with Maje, she never for once granted interviews. And at the end of the day, when she realized that everybody was saying a lot of crap about her and her family and every other thing about herself that she stood for, what did she do? She wrote a book. So she put all of her pain, she put everything that she wanted people to know about what happened in her marriage in that book and what did she do she sold the information listen that is the most powerful strategy that anybody who has gone through hot and pain would just do i'm not saying that everybody that has gone through one shit or the other in their lives should go ahead and write a book but what i'm trying to say is if you are going to spill do it in the most sensible way that would make you own your story because that's what Toki Makima did. She owned her story. She owned her narrative. And the only thing people know about what happened between her and Maje is what she put out there. Honestly, that girl, she, she, she totally deserves some accolades. So, Tonto, it's not me trying to compare you and Toki Makima. But what I'm trying to say is there could have been a better way for Tonto DK to spill. Yeah, there could have been a better way. And right now, everybody has access to her voice. Everybody has access to her story on the internet, online, you know? Yeah, and it's so annoying because you go on Twitter, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, all the social media platforms, and you find out that someone who in real life cannot stand and con 
construct a complete sentence that cannot think intelligently will go on those platforms and just put like one word or just put like a sentence and that person becomes the hero of that platform you know so you see such people waiting like wolves and sharks of predicaments you know and then they are waiting for something wrong to just go bad and then once it comes out like that they just you know attack 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 and then they start saying all sorts of judgmental things about you not knowing what the true story is so I for Tonto DK, I feel like she cares too much about what people think. I feel like she cares too much about people's opinion. If not, she wouldn't even go as far as granting that interview to Daddy Freeze. Yes, no beef, no hard feelings, no negativity to anybody in the media world. But I feel like she shouldn't have granted that interview to Daddy Freeze. I mean, she even went as far as saying that her husband was a, a 40 seconds man. That her husband couldn't even last up to one minute. Come on, Tonto. Yes, he probably deserves it. But then, whatever we do as human beings, I think we should also always put into consideration posterity, the future. Because remember, the internet never forgets. The internet totally never forgets. Yes, the internet never forgets. So we should be very, very careful with the sort of information that we put out there for people to consume, for the internet to consume. Yeah, so turn to DK. Um, honestly, I just, I just feel, or let me say, I wish you um, a quick recovery, a quick healing from all of this hurt and pain because it's really, really obvious that you've been really, really hurt by this man. So I wish you a quick recovery, but also i wish you would just stop i wish you wouldn't grant interviews anymore i wish you wouldn't allow people know more about your private life i wish you wouldn't allow people to 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 have that opportunity to say whatever garbage that comes out of your mouth and i wish you would also think about your son before you put out certain certain information out there about your failed marriage all said guys that is my frank opinion i feel like there is um i feel like there's um decency i feel like there's wisdom and i feel like there's um control when you keep your business to yourself when you keep your shit to yourself and if, if at all you're going to give out your information then make money out of it in a very very wise way sell the information do not give people the opportunity to just grab it and do whatever harm that they want to do with it um that's all for today's episode guys if you have anything contrary to what i have just said go ahead put down your thoughts in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel see i don't have the beggar i'm gonna subscribe to this channel really it's free like you're not paying for it just go ahead and click on the red subscribe button below so that we can grow together to the permanent site make the ministry move forward i beg and as you're doing that don't forget to turn on post notification that's the white bell right there beside the subscribe button so that you will get a lot of my videos i upload weekly now mm, i know say i don't talk about my upload period style but that's just it thank you guys so much for watching till next time bye